What's up guys? It's Patricia from TarantulaHeaven.com. We've got a Chilean rose hair named Miss Spidey over here. Uh, maybe she's going to move for you, but maybe not. Uh, anyway, today for Tarantula Tuesday, we are talking about spider and tarantula eyesight. Uh, this is something that's very interesting to me because uh, as far as I know, <laughs> Spidey's eyesight, uh, she might as well be blind. She can't see as most tarantulas have terrible eyesight. Uh, as far as we know, they really only see shadows or like certain lights, so they can't really see much of anything despite having eight eyes, but that's not the same for all spiders, so I definitely wanted to give you guys some information about that. And it's interesting, right? Because as you can see, Spidey has a lot of color in her tank. She has a lot of really cool stuff and plants, and yet, you know, that's probably just for me. <laughs> Spidey can't actually enjoy most of it. She can't see it. Um, I'm sure that she does benefit from feeling all the different textures. I think that's interesting for her and uh, having different terrains to walk on. But can she actually enjoy the visual element of it? Absolutely not. Can Spidey see me? Probably not. I probably just look like a blob or a shadow or something like that. And so even though Spidey has no idea of all the things that I do for her and how much I love her, despite my pretending that she does, I don't think it matters. However, some other spiders might have a different story to tell. So what we know about tarantulas and a lot of other spiders is that because their eyesight is terrible, they do not have ears, <laughs> um, they can't really hear, they do sense their world around them through vibration. So all those hairs on them and their nervous system picks up stimulus from the environment mostly in the form of vibration. That is kind of how they hear their surroundings. I've also heard that they kind of have a sense of smell too, which they kind of use their hairs for and their feeling senses for as well, which is very interesting. But as far as the usefulness of their eyes, there's not much going on there. However, it's a bit different for other spiders. So Good vision is really, really important for hunting and capturing prey, as well as recognizing those spiders who might be mates or perhaps rivals. Uh, jumping spiders in particular have been, and flower spiders and wolf spiders, net casting spiders, are actually spiders who have decent vision. And an interesting finding that I found out is that there are actually different spider eyes, which is kind of mind blowing. So most spiders do have eight eyes, but these eyes actually have certain duties and they do different things. So the eyes on these spiders, or most spiders, are usually displayed in eight rows, these eight eyes. Some spiders have six, but most have eight. Um, they're at the front of the spider, obviously, and these eyes are broken up into the two rows and the two rows are called the anterior and posterior. And these eyes have the roles of either being a lateral or median eye. Interior median eyes, these are also known as the direct eyes, are very different from the others. Direct eyes appear dark, while others may look like they have a layer of light reflecting crystals and may have a more silvery appearance. The indirect eyes are able to see low light intensities. And spiders with good vision usually have larger indirect eyes. The lenses are, are interesting too. Spider eyes see extremely bright images. However, their retinas only create coarse grain mosaics of receptor cells. And they see at a lower resolution. So it's definitely worse than the human eye. Some spiders, such as wolf spiders, actually have reflector eyes. And these spiders need large posterior eyes to help them hunt in the dark. And these eyes help them spot movement even when there's very little light. So very strategic on the wolf spider's part. Other spiders like net casting spiders, they have very enlarged rear eyes and these almost look like those search lights. This also gives them advantage for night hunting. It gives them a wider field of view and are great in low light conditions. And jumping spiders, as many of you may know, are actually thought to have the best vision out of all spiders. They're more active during the day, so their eyes work quite a bit differently. Vision is excellent. It allows them to differentiate prey from mates and enemies. 
And here's an interesting thing. Their amazing vision actually allows them to pounce on prey very accurately. If you guys have ever seen videos on social media or YouTube about a jumping spider, jumping on a leaf or on prey or on something, they are incredibly accurate. Um, they can actually jump from distances over 20 times their body length. And jumping spiders have three different types of eyes. They have side eyes that can sense movement of distant prey through a blurry wide angle image. And then once the movement is picked up, the spider will focus on the moving prey with its large middle front eyes that provide a clear color image. And these eyes can track moving prey and lock onto it. Then when the prey is within a closer range, the side front eyes judge how far the spider would have to jump to get the prey, and then it can calculate it and actually carry out the attack. I think that is super fascinating. Um, I personally have never owned a jumping spider. I know that some people keep jumping spiders as pets, and so they can probably speak to a lot more of just how amazing the eyesight is and how accurate it is. But I have seen so many pictures and videos of them. Um, I think they are so adorable. I might love to have one one day. Um, yeah, I just think it's really cool. So while this researching this didn't really give me much fascinating information about tarantulas besides confirming to me that Spidey has terrible eyesight, um, I do think that if you keep other spiders or study other spiders, this is actually really, really cool and encouraging. So I hope this gave you some good information for your larger education about arachnids. Anyway, guys, I hope you have a wonderful week, and I will see you next week for Tarantula Tuesday. Take care. Bye.